Okay, on the top of page 9, what we're going to do is actually practice drawing the slopes and how you would actually do this. And um, for each person, it's going to look slightly different. But the idea here is that you are uh, comparing the slope to what you've drawn before. Meaning, here in A, I'm saying that y prime is equal to um, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 10. Now, this is indicating that we're using the slope. Okay, and remember here it says draw the slopes. So you're drawing a segment that's going to indicate what the slope would look like. So if you're saying that 1 is has a slope field of 45 degrees, that's approximately 45 degrees, if you were to draw a slope of 2, it's going to be slightly steeper. So it's barely even going to look different. But you can tell it's a little bit steeper. Then 3 would be steeper than this one. So you just need to do your best. Does almost look the same. Then 4, a little bit steeper. And then 10 is super steep. Okay, 40, you know, it's just very difficult, but you're comparing one to the next. So these look almost the same. Um, it's just very hard to distinguish. So then when you're dealing with a slope that is a fraction, remember 1 half, this is actually, this is not going to be 45 degrees. It needs to lay down a little bit more. So it would be half of that. Then that doesn't even look straight then one-third, then one-fourth, then one-tenth, and so on. So these are flatter. Negatives, this would be basically 135 degrees or negative 45. Again, a little bit steeper, a little bit steeper, a little bit steeper, a lot steeper. Okay, so it's just difficult. And again, the same idea, laying down a little bit more, Oh, that's too, too flat, so I don't like that one. Let's say half. So, uh, something not as, like this maybe, then for negative one-third a little bit laying down more, which looks almost the same, a little bit more, a lot more. Okay, these two are the unique ones zero and undefined. So if you have a slope of zero, we already saw it on the previous page, you basically will sketch a horizontal line. Okay? When you have a slope that is undefined, typically um, you don't draw anything because it doesn't exist. The slope doesn't exist. Sometimes you will see a vertical line, but rarely. So typically you draw nothing. Okay, typically. So this is what we're going to do. We are going to practice one of each type, meaning when you are dealing only with x's, um, you really only focus on the x's, and the slope will be the same vertically for every single one. So when you have your slope is just in terms of x, that means your vertical slopes will all be the same. Okay. When you are dealing with your slope just in terms of y, your horizontal slopes will be the same. When you're dealing with both, it's just a little bit different. So we're going to create a t-table for every single one. Now, if you look at this slope field, uh, you don't have a, uh, an origin. So you would have to choose. Sometimes you'll be given an origin, but typically you're going to choose something, I don't know, kind of in the middle. So I'm saying that this right here is going to be my origin, and I'll choose the same for each one. And this will actually help me determine um, what values I need to include in my truth table. So when I'm looking here um, to create my truth table right here, okay, uh, this is going to be the x values that I'm choosing, and this would be my slope. Okay, so first of all, for my x value, because I'm only dealing with um, vertical, I'm dealing with um, negative 2 all the way to negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. Negative 2 to negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. So this is all I have to plug in. So what's going to happen is once I figure out my slope here, these will all be the same. Same, 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 same. And I'm going to use a highlighter to draw them. Okay, so I'm plugging in negative 2, 1 over negative 2 minus 1 is negative 1 third. Okay, negative 1. 
So this is what? Negative 1 half. Plug in 0, it's negative 1. Plug in 1, this is undefined, so it's going to help us see what that would look like. And then 2 is 1. Okay? So negative 1 third is going to lay down kind of flat, and it's actually going to be where x is negative 2. So when I sketch this, I'm going to make them all the same like this. Okay? And I made them nice and long so that you could see them. Then at negative 1, I have a slope of negative 1 half, so it does need to be steeper than this. So just a little bit steeper, say like this maybe, this, this, and this. Here I have negative 1, so this definitely needs to be like this, this. Okay, so negative 45 degrees or 135. At 1, it's undefined. So remember what I set up here, undefined. You typically do not put anything. Oop, and I just wrote all over it. Uh, you put nothing, okay? So there'd be nothing here. And then you have a slope of 1, so 45 degrees, 45 degrees, 45, 45. That's your slope field right there. Okay? All right, so let's take a look at when our value is just in terms of y. So again, I'm going to create a t-table, okay? Uh, we're going from, now we need to deal with our y values, so it's a horizontal slope, so negative 1, 0, 1, 2. So we're going negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. These are my y values, and this would be my slope. So we're going to plug in here. So that means this is negative 2, 0, 2, and 4. Okay, so we're going to have some crazy steep slopes here. Um, I'll use a different highlighter. Okay, so it's horizontal slopes. So you need to be careful because before I went vertically, and now I'm going horizontally. So at negative 1, I have a slope of negative 2, so that means this needs to be pretty steep. So we'll go like this, like this, 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 and this. Here, 0, so this is nice and easy, it's just like this. Uh, 2, so now pretty steep this way. and then neg uh, 4, so much steeper. Okay? All right, in this last one, it's a little bit more work. Okay, so what we actually need to do is create a table. So we're gonna take a look um, for a truth table. And um, when I create this table, because I know I need to have x's and y values. I'm going to split up this right here, and I'm going to say that across the top, I'll have my x values, and down the side, I'll have my y values. Okay, so what we've got in terms of x, we're going negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. So negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. And you need to make this clear, okay? Um, and then going from negative 1, 0, 1, 2. Negative 1, 0, 1, 2. Okay, so let's create a table for ourselves here. <clears throat> okay, alright. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug in these values. So when x is negative 2, um, a negative 2 plus 1, so this would be negative 1. Uh, negative 1 minus, neg uh, this is 0. Um, 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. Okay, so what I did was I took a look and I just plugged in. So here, when x is negative 2, y will be 0 the whole time. So basically what that means is this is negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2, because this is gone. Plugging in 1 for y and negative 2 here. So negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. Negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. 0 minus 1 is negative 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. 2 minus 1 is 1. Okay, you can see a pattern here based on what's uh, occurring. So then you have negative 2 minus 2, so this is what, negative 4? Uh, negative 1, 
minus 2 is negative 3, 0, so this is negative 2, negative 1, and 0. Okay, so these are all my slopes. So I need to actually go in and plot these. So let's see here. Let's use a different color, green. All right. So we're actually starting here. Negative 2, negative 1, so this slope is negative 1, so it's going to look like this. Okay, then we're going to, we can do it many different ways. We can go like this. We'll just stay at negative 2. Okay, so that means we have a slope of negative 2, so it's going to be steeper. Steeper and much steeper. So I just went straight down here. So I'm going vertical. Just, I mean, you can do it any way you want. So then here, when x is negative 1 and y is negative 1, I have a slope of 0. So it should go like this. Then I'm going up like this, because I'm staying where x is negative 1. This slope is negative 1, so this is going to be about 45 degrees. Okay, negative 2 steeper, negative 3 steeper. Okay, then I go here. So we're going to start um, down here. x is 0 the whole time, so this is a slope of positive 1, so it's going to go this way. Then it's a slope of 0, so you can't really see it, but actually you can. That came out good. Negative 1. Okay, and then negative 2. Then go to where x is 1. So we have a slope of positive 2. Did I do that right? Uh, 1 minus a, yeah, it should be positive 2. So this should be x is 1, oh, down here. That's why. Positive 2. There we go. Then 1 then 0, then negative 1. Okay, and last one. Make sure I'm starting in the right spot. So this is down here, so this is going to be even steeper. Positive 3, positive 2, positive 1, and 0. There's your slope field. It looks better when you're using a highlighter so you can see everything. Okay, in this last problem down here, on the bottom, it says given a slope field, Okay, in this case, you're actually given the graph. Uh, there may be some occasions where you have to sketch the graph, and we have one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven graphs, but we only want you to identify um, four. So what you want to look at is, it says label the graph that identifies the initial condition, meaning your graph is going to go through these points. So going through a point of zero, zero, that's kind of nice because it's this one right here, so that means this one would be A. If you're looking at going through a point of negative 1, 0, negative 1, 0, right here. True or false? False. Negative 1, 0, it's this one. B. Okay? Going through 0, negative 1, this is C. And then 0, negative 2, I'm looking to see where that graph goes through. So this would be D.